Welcome back everyone. Today's short lesson is about impairment resistance. Impairment resistance refers to the extension of an impairment out of the pleural space and into the neighboring chest wall and surroundings of tissues. Regarding the pathology, it might either occur due to the virulence of the organism or it might be facilitated by previous thoracic surgery such as thoracotomy or trauma allowing infection to track through. It occurs commonly to subcutaneous tissue of the chest wall, but can also spread to involve other sites such as esophageal, breast, retroperitoneal, peritoneal, pericardial, and even paravertebral regions. The resultant subcutaneous abscess might eventually rupture through the skin. The causative organisms for impairment resistance is mainly mycobacterium tuberculosis is thought to be the most common cause and it is responsible for about 70% of the case of impairment resistance. So always you should have to think of mycobacterium tuberculosis if you found a patient having impairment resistance. The second most common cause is actinomycosis. This is thought to be the second most common cause for this problem. Blastomycosis, aspergillosis, nocardia, and mucormycosis, and also fusobacterium can cause impairment resistance. Regarding the imaging of this problem, chest X-ray might often non-specific and at times it can even normal, but this might suggest a soft tissue density in the chest wall. The most important imaging that we should have to send is uh, computer tomography or CT scan. Chest CT is the best at assessing the extent of infection out of the thoracic cavity. It will classically show an impairment of a relatively well demarcated collection with extension through the chest wall into another compartment. The top differential diagnosis for this problem on imaging is the first one is malignant pleural based mass such as mesothelioma. But in the case of mesothelioma, they will have a different clinical context and they will have more solid components. The other is transdiaphragmatic spread of intra or infra abdominal infection and the collection. Treatment of impairment resistance include closed or open drainage of the pleural space to prevent fibrosis and to facilitate the expansion of the lung. And appropriate antibiotic therapy is also the mainstay of therapy. And if it is tuberculosis, appropriate anti-TB drugs should be given. This is a short summary regarding impairment resistance. Thank you for listening.